gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Miss Brianne, and welcome back to Coding Fun with Miss Brianne. And this is a series where I provide talks on all the different coding toys, games, robots, and computer software that we here have to offer at the West Hampton Free Library, as well as within my own personal collection. Now, as I've always mentioned, when I each talk, the three talks on each month focus on a particular theme. And the theme for the month of June is robots and other coding toys that are created by the company Spiro. And for the last video of the month, I am going to talk about a product that wasn't originally created by Spiro, but now Spiro now make but Spiro now makes the components and the toy. Toys. And this, this collection of little circuit pieces is called Little Bits. Now Little Bits are circuit piece, electronic circuit pieces or computer circuit pieces that are magnetic so they easily snap together. There's no screws to worry about, no wire, no copper pointy metal wires to wrap around no soldering materials to use that are very hot and smell really bad. Now, I just want to let you know that Little Bits was a small project that was developed in 2008 by a young woman named Aya Bader. And eventually she launched the official version in September of 2011. And it was a huge success. And eventually Spiro, Spiro Inc. acquired the little bits in August of 2019. They've been making them ever since. But basically little bits are snappable circuit pieces that, you, that are magnetic and you just snap them together. Now, and they're very, there's a special color code to show you which pieces are used. And this is all cardboard stuff that you can use for inventions. But there's four different types of colors. We have blue, blue bits, which are, which are basically power. They're the ones that supply the power to whatever inventions you have. And you can either do battery operated, and this is a battery operated, so it comes with its own battery, or plug-in. So that those blue is power. Next we have, let me see. We have pink bits. And those are input bits. And what an input is, you have to do something in order to get your circuit to work. That's either using a slide dimmer, something to slide, or switch, or a button. This one is a sound trigger. So you have to make noise in order for your circuit to work with this type of bit. And you can increase the sensitivity so you can have very little sound to make it work or you have to be really loud to make it work. And next up we, ha we have the wire bits. And basically it's just, it's, all a, it's basically a wire component that connects your input or your power to, well, I'll just show you in a minute, it's the output. Now, this is just a simple wire. Wire in goes in your input, wire out goes in your output. But there's also different, we have our, the wire bits also include the code bit, which is a good connector, the makey makey, and the Arduino, which, they, which is no longer produced. Those connect your circuit pieces as well. They're just a little more complicated and then you have to do something else to make it work. And then finally, we have the green bits or the output bit. 
And these are the bits that do something. Like this is an LED bit with the LED light. If it's connected to an input or, an, or power and wire, it will, this will light up. And this is a buzzer bit. So if it's connected to power or, and or an input, it makes a sound. And that is basically the basics of uh, the fork divisions of the little bits and the basics of little bits. And they have so many different bits in each of the four colors that the possibilities are endless for what you can do with them. And they're a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun with these. They're very exciting. They're great to use. And, and the possibilities are endless the more of these pieces you have. So anyway, that's the basic overview on the little bits. And before I wrap up, I just want to let everybody know that this is my final video for Coding Fun. And I just want to say I am very grateful to all those who have watched my videos in the past year and a half, two years that I have done this. I'm very touched by all the comments I've been giving, how much they love my video, how much they love my videos, and direct this, and the questions I had on where to acquire some of these toys. And I'm deeply sad that I'm, that I'm not going to be continuing the series in September. But anyway, I thank everybody in the West Hampton Free Library community from the very bottom of my heart for the support they've given me in the past year and a half that I have done this. So thank you so much for your support over the years. And this is Ms. Brianne saying take good care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day and have a very happy summer.